Panic Griefer, and now I'm going to show you how I make my tech. So what you want to do is search Pixel Lab. It's this. It has like a big P and it's blue around it. You install it. Then you get on the app. Go on it. Then for the back, if you want it to be like PNG, so the background doesn't show, doesn't have this. What you want to do? Crap. Wait a sec. Go to like these two squares, then go transparent and. Then you edit your text. We're gonna make it tutorial. A text tutorial. So here goes the big stuff now. What you wanna do is go to font and go to you can choose these varieties of fonts that they give you. Buy download my fonts and I'll show you how to get them. What you do is go on this website that's called www.thefont.com and it has a bunch of varieties of fonts. So you can search like varieties, like we'll search plump. Want that I use? You'll see it right there. There's varieties of them. So what you what you do? I'm like liking this one. What you do is just press. Wait one second. No, you don't want this. What you want to do is press download, then it starts downloading, and you go back to Pixel Lab, you go to font, go to my fonts, press like this thing, okay? Go to download. Oh. I don't know. What this is say. It's this one. Hmm. Where is it? It's kind of hard because I have two pumps. Let's just download a different one. Let me pause it. Okay, what you want to do is go to my Android. Go to downloads. Click on the ones that you want to download. Wait a second. You just click on it, extract it. Then they should be extract. Then you go back on Pixel Lab. Go to font. Go to my font. Go to that. Go. Yeah. 
Yes, it is Andalos Panda style. It depends which one. Then it's there. And we have it. You can change the color. Any color. But this is how I do mine. You just change the color. Change the color to whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it white. Then you get this. Go to strip. Then change the color. I'm gonna have it blue. You can have it whatever. Usually people have it like that. Then what you want to do to make it look good? Go inner shadow. It looks like it's alright. Then you can move it a little. I usually have my like sometimes 10 or 8. Then you could put embossed, but I don't really use it that much. Like add thing to it. And you can make it kind of 3D, 3D text. I don't usually do that. I'm not all about that 2D text. <clears throat> you can put a shadow on it. Shadow. I usually curve it. Make you have that one look. But we're going to change the tag just for the video. It's one of my videos. Well, one of my fonts I really like is this one. Then you export the image. If it changes, you just have to have the format handy. Save to gallery. Yes, but we're not done. We're not done. So. Go to PS Photoshop Touch on Android or PS Touch, how I say it. Shorter version, see. Then, what you're trying to find is Pixel Lab. It should be right there. And there we go. So what I usually do, just duplicate, good, basic, then lighting, then you could zoom out, zoom the light to be in one spot. Change the normal. To overlay, I sometimes do it, but you could put it normal so it has that shadow to it. Then press empty layer, put it under this one, the duplicate, and you fill and stroke. Put it on white. Select it, clear it, then you go to glow. You can put it whatever you want it, but I put it on white. Have that feel. Might be better if you do it like that. So you can actually see it. 
I usually put it at between 40 or 50 or 20. It's usually when it's, when it's like at least 33. Then select pixels, extract it. There you go. Lower down. Then now this is the reason why I put on overlay. But for the sake, we'll put it on normal. Right under it. Now I have that you like. Don't like it. To check it way better, just make fill and stroke it. Except put it black, so you can actually see how it looks. And that's how we make how I make my tags. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Ask for more tutorials if you need help. I want to see how I do it. And even more. Subscribe and hit the like button. See ya, Panda Army.